So here we are with the item of interest, our C-Place measuring feeder X. The feeder is an on-demand device um, to detect components and the component range. What can we do with the feeder? We can detect splicing issues, we can detect labeling issues or setup issues. And last but not least, of course, we can detect customer deviations if you have, for instance, fake component. What is the range of it? We can measure um, resistors, conductors, we can measure diodes and inductors. So, and the maximum size of it, of the component itself, can be 6 by 3.2 millimeter, and the minimum size is um, 02 or 1 inch. And all this functionality within an 8 millimeter feeder. So now we are here on the CPLAS Pro Desk um, to program or specify the component itself. We have here an open component, an 0201 um, C chip. In standard wise, everything is set up. So the important stuff is here on the electrical characteristics. So you can see, at first you have to define the component type and if we open the drop down, you see the, the range, resistors as described, standard, capacitor, polarized capacitor, inductor, diode, and that's it. So we're starting with resistor and as a resistor you have the value of course, how much ohm you want, what kind of me measuring, measuring range and of course the tolerance from the, from the component itself. As well we can go for symmetrical tolerance or not symmetrical tolerance. As well on the right side you see the direction of the component or orientation itself. Same we do for capacitors, set up the value, what do you want, the range, the symmetrical tolerances, um, measuring frequency is here as a default or you go from 112, uh, 120 hertz to up to 10 kilohertz and of course the measuring voltage which can be set as well. Third of all, number three, number three sorry, is the inductor and with the inductor as well you have the value itself, the range, the symmetrical tolerance, as well the orientation. Last but not least, diode, you see the lower limit, the nominal value and the upper limit and as well if you want to use custom measurement current that you can change here from 2 or 10. So for all the component interest, the, uh, the most interesting stuff is on the right side where we see the electrical verification. We switch it on and then you have more uh, different possibilities. At first you can verify uh, in a period like every 1000, every 10,000 component will be checked. Second you can verify in a sequence, like this example here, 10, 100, 1000 or 10,000. And last but not least, you can discard the gray zone and dispose it in a reject bin if you don't have a splice sensor. So that's it from the C++ part. So what do you get in the end with the C++ measuring feeder X? You get no wrong component on the line because we can measure every component within its range. Um, you have no operator issues because we can detect them um, splicing errors, labeling errors, setup errors. You have always the right reel um, after splicing if you have a splice detector. And all this leads to less rework. And this feeder is available on every C-Place machine and on every head.